Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about bolometer. The bolometer is used to measure a radiation or heat, microwave energy in the form of radiation. Suppose when we are working with any devices like microwave devices, some heat is produced. So, so in such cases, what is the amount of heat produced that we can measure using the equipment called bolometer? So, an instrument that is used to detect as well as measure the microwave radiation energy and heat is known as bolometer. This device works by using a temperature sensitive resistive element where the resistance of this element will change through the temperature. I think uh, uh, you may remember we have studied about the thermistors, thermometers. There also we have used the same type of uh, uh, similar case like uh, variation in the temperature with respect to variation in the resistance. The similar method here also we are using for the case of bolometer where the microwave radiation or heat energy the radiation that will be measured through the change in the resistance element okay by using a resistive element that is changing with respect to the change in the temperature. So the most frequently used resistive elements are barrettor and thermistor. This is what I have told now. So thermistors, thermally sensitive resistor. Similar type of device is also there that is barrettor which is having a change in their resistance with respect to the change in the temperature. The speed as well as the sensitivity of the device can be changed by changing the thermal resistance among the bolometer as well as its environment but both the sensitivity and speed are inversely proportional to each other in direction of the thermal resistance suppose if you take a speed and sensitivity speed is opposite to the sensitivity both are inversely proportional to each other but consequently what happens here is sensitivity of the bolometer is frequently slow so let us see the working of the bolometer, how the bolometer works along with the circuit diagram. You will see in the next slide I will explain about the circuit diagram also. So a bolometer includes an, absorp an absorptive part that is made up of a slight metal layer. So what happens here is we are actually in the bolometer. The bolometer is a, let us consider this is the bolometer. Okay. So, in this bolometer, we have a metal layer. We have a metal layer, sense to metal layer. Let us consider a resistor. Okay. This sense to metal layer, when absorbed by a heat, so we are applying some heat, we will keep this bolometer in the environment where we want to measure the radiation, microwave radiation or heat or energy or power, whatever you say. In that environment, we are keeping this bolometer with a sense to metal layer. What is the purpose of this sense to metal layer? This sense to metal layer, we are calling it as an absorptive part. So, it is the absorption where the temperature or heat gets connected with this bolometer. Okay. So, the connection of this part can be done through a thermal reservoir with the help of thermal link so what happens here is a thermal reservoir is there the fixed temperature is there within the room temperature we are operating this bolometer whenever the heat touches this material the temperature of this device will increase now it will compare the temperature with the reservoir temperature means already the temperature within the bolometer if it is higher than if the detected temperature is higher than the reservoir temperature then the bolometer indicates the amount of difference temperature shows okay so in that way actually this bolometer works once the radiation hits the absorptive part then its temperature will be a change within the temperature so compared with the reservoir temperature this temperature is high because of the radiation absorption using absorptive part the thermal time constant of intrinsic can be equivalent to the heat capacity ratio among the absorptive element as well as the reservoir. Reservoir is nothing but it is the place where we are having the normal temperature. Okay, it is comparing with the normal temperature and it detects that okay temperature of the detecting element is more compared to the 
original temperature what it has internally therefore the temperature change in is measured directly through a resistive thermometer that is connected to the absorptive part sometimes the absorptive part resistance is used for calculating the change in temperature so re <coughs> generally resistors are preferred for the measurement of the temperature so generally temperature changes can be measured using resistance so this is the circuit of the bolometer gen simple circuit of the bolometer how the bolometer works uh, where the resistance we are keeping in the under the arms of the bridge so that the microwave power input we are giving to the resistance See here this is the bridge Wheatstone's bridge consisting of pure resistors in all the four arms and this is the energy this is just a dc supply given to this um, bridge when bridge is in balanced condition there is no deflection shown by this meter we know this already okay now bridge is becoming unbalanced by the application of heat to this resistor rt okay so this is the bolometer we are connecting in the fourth arm this is the bolometer resistor we are connecting bolometer is having some absorptive part i told you already that absorptive part we are connecting at this particular uh, uh, this particular arm of the bridge now we are going to give whatever the power or microwave radiation energy that we are going to measure giving to this resistor so we are giving across this resistor see only we are giving across this resistor then what happens this resistive element will absorb that particular heat and changes its resistance value so whenever the resistance of this rt changes the bridge becomes unbalanced so unbalanced bridge shows some deflection so these reflections are proportional to the input energy okay so the bolometer circuit diagram is shown below the arrangement of this can be done <laughs> in a bridge form where one arm of this includes the temperature sense to resistor the arrangement of this resistor can be done in a microwave energy field where the power can be measured so this resistor absorbs the measured power because the heat generates within it this generated heat can change the resistance of an element the change in resistance can be measured by the bridge circuit this is what i have explained now so the construction instead of using a normal bridge circuit and the construction can also be made with the combination of differential amplifiers and as well as oscillators why can you can you think why we are using oscillator here instead of a normal bridge circuit what happens in the bridge circuit because of the change in temperature which is connected to the resistor because of that change in temperature resistance value will change because of that resistance value the bridge becomes unbalanced and uh, it shows some deflections this is how the process uh, happens in the previous slide now i am saying instead of using a pure uh, bridge circuit and connecting a resistor with the heating element a differential amplifier or oscillators can also be used suppose take an oscillator what is the purpose of oscillator it is used to produce oscillations always it is used to produce oscillations depending upon the internal uh, element like resistance and capacitance it produces a fixed oscillations like this okay so on what factor the frequency of oscillations depends the frequency of oscillations are depending on like 1 by 2 pi rc or 1 by 2 pi root lc depending upon that uh, what we can say like resistance capacitance and inductance we are using within the oscillators okay suppose what we are doing is instead of having a fixed resistor until and unless we change the resistance or capacitance value these frequency of oscillations will not affect okay now we are adding the resistance instead of the pure resistor we are adding this uh, absorptive part of the resistor of the bolometer connected in the oscillator then what happens whenever we are having a temperature detection the resistance of that particular bolometer will vary and this resistance will vary what about the frequency of oscillations frequency of oscillations will also be affected 
okay so when we detect some changes in the frequency of oscillations compared to the normal regular frequency of oscillations then we can say that the temperature is being detected clear so once the circuit is unbalanced <coughs> then it will oscillate the resistive element of in the meter will absorb the power to get the circuit balanced so the bridge circuit can be balanced by adjusting the dc bias that means again if you want to bias again if you want to um, balance the bridge bridging is nothing but here a oscillator uh, bridge, uh, again if you want to balance that oscillating circuit you need to adjust the biasing supply which we are giving in the name of vcc the bolometer circuit can be arranged within the microwave field so the radiation can be absorbed through the element to increase the temperature and causes the change in their resistance so let us see the advantages and applications of the bolometer as well and the main advantage of the bolometer includes the following these instruments are very effective in terms of resolution of energy and sensitivity as compared with other conservative particle detect, uh, detectors so several uh, other devices are also there to detect the heat but this is having more sensitivity even for small changes in the heat also the bolometer detects and gives the accurate results these instruments don't need cooling because they function at room temperature the main advantage of this bolometer is even the bolometer is used to measure the temperature they don't need actually the cooling devices okay cooling device cooling fan such devices are not required because they are usually working at the room temperature they can also calculate non ionizing elements photons and ionizing particles and photons so applications bolometer can be used in various applications where we can measure the temperature or radiation so the major applications of the bolometer include the following a bolometer is an extremely sensitive device used for detecting electromagnetic radiation or heat you have to remember this point microwave energy or electromagnetic radiation or heat it is used mainly to calculate the amount of microwave energy or radiation electromagnetic radiation or heat so emerging applications of this device are thermal imaging scientific monitoring of the remote environment solar probes and terahertz communication in high speed communication also we are using this bolometer to calculate the radiation okay and thermal imaging thermal imaging you know thermal imaging in uh, where hospitals thermal imaging scientific monitoring of remote environment solar probes all these are very emerging applications where we can use this bolometer it is used in particle detectors thermal cameras scanners of fingerprints forest fire detection concealed weapon detection air surveillance and astronomical uh, applications so all these are different various applications where we can use the bolometer widely so this is about completely the bolometer its working and applications and advantages thank you